talk bad about my team, you must be a clown. This is Keek on the mic, so you know you better bear down. Bear down. Hey, what's going on, Bears fans? Thank you so much for joining me for another episode of Keek on the Mic, the podcast all about the Chicago Bears. Like always, if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell notification to catch all Bears content right here on the podcast. So, Bears fans, let's have a little conversation about Ryan Poles and his lack of aggressiveness and how he has approached uh, his very first free agency as the Chicago Bears GM. And let me tell you guys something. All I've been hearing all over social media, getting comments on my other videos, is saying, hey, Keek, why isn't Ryan Poles being aggressive? You know, what? why is he sitting back? Why is he taking this approach? You know, I've even seen comments saying, well, the Bears are going to suck next year. Justin Fields is going to die. There could be some truth to that. We don't know. We have to see, see him put it all together. Obviously, he's had some... Uh, mishaps with the Larry Ogunjobi deal, right? Ryan Bates, all that stuff. So I understand people's frustration. But going as far as saying the Chicago Bears are going to suck, well, let's pump the brakes a little bit on that one. The thing I want to talk about on today's episode of Keek on the Mic, though, is Ryan Poles actually explained in an interview with Adam Jans of The Athletic his lack of aggression building around Justin Fields. Obviously, that's the main concern for all Bears fans, including myself. We want to see Justin Fields take that leap from year one to year two. And for order, in order for him to do that, obviously, it's the GM's job to build around Justin Fields. Offensive line, weapons, right? And obviously, Ryan Poles has received major backlash from fans over his lack of aggressiveness and free agency. Some fans were hoping for a flurry of moves, right, to help Justin Fields. Kind of like what the Jacksonville Jaguars are doing, right? Just signing everybody and anybody. That's what Ryan Pace did. So I guess some Bears fans expected the same thing from Ryan Poles. But when Ryan Poles was brought in, he made it very clear to us that he wanted to build through the NFL draft. And he wasn't going to overspend in free agency. And I know what you guys can say here. Well, Keek, we only have five, six NFL draft picks, right? So how can we build through the NFL draft with not a lot of draft capital? To answer your question, I feel like Ryan Poles will trade back to get more draft capital, right? I think it's expected. We have two second-round picks, so that's an option. But for me, I actually appreciate what Ryan Poles is doing. He's signing these cheap options that fill holes in different areas of need. And you have to remember that Ryan Pace left Ryan Poles a, a shit show of a roster, right? He has to clean up the mess that Ryan Pace left him. So as a Bears fan, I, I try to be patient. I understand where your frustration is coming from. Absolutely. But I think your frustration is coming from because you guys are so used to seeing Ryan Pace just sign anybody and everybody. Massive contracts. And sometimes signing one guy to a massive contract won't help the entirety of the roster, especially when you look at the Chicago Bears roster. There's so many holes to fill. And obviously when you look at his offensive moves to build around Justin Fields, the two notable offensive signings are obviously Lucas Patrick and Byron Pringle, which we all know that that's not going to be enough. We all realize that. But it's a process. These guys came in on cheap deals. I think they're going to help improve the offense right away. And when you really look at the most upset Bears fans, you know, they're, they're saying things like, he has to work hard to build around Justin Fields. That rookie contract won't last for long. Those are all true points. It's a process. The thing I like about Ryan Poles, though, is that he doesn't deflect the questions or the backlash of why he is taking this type of approach, much like how Ryan Pace would, you know, get these tough questions about the roster and he would deflect the situation. Matt Nagy did the same thing. Ryan Poles, what we've learned so far, is brutally honest about the roster, and he doesn't shy away from the backlash. If someone has a question of his approach, he will answer that question with all the honesty in the world. And according to Adam Jans at Athletic, Poles had this exact thing to say about his lack of aggressiveness in free agency. He says this, Coming from where I just came from, 
I want to give Justin Fields everything I possibly can, but you still have to construct an entire team, Paul said. You can't go blank in one area and then just load up in one area. We're always going to be aggressive to get Fields the tools he needs to be successful, Paul said. It's just the timing and the talent level and the cap situation. All of those are going to dictate when we can go and when we can't go. But I think what we've done so far is at least establish a little bit of growth in the roster. Plus the scheme with the coaching, I see him getting better even from what we did right now. Huh. Interesting. And like I said, this is what I like about Ryan Poles. He's honest. And what Poles said in that statement is very straightforward. Something that he mentioned in his statement is that the Bears didn't have a healthy enough cap space to be super aggressive, to get the big free agents, right? You got to respect that. What Ryan Pace would have did, right? He would have went out there with the limited cap space and signed some big-time players to big-time contracts. But what does that lead you? It leads you to cap hell in the future. Much like what we're in now, right? We have a decent amount of cap space, but not enough to, you know, go break the bank on many big players in free agency. And point in Paul's point of view as well, he feels right now that the roster has improved. Not by a lot, but he feels like the just the additions of Byron Pringle and Lucas Patrick will help the roster more than people think. Which you know, we're gonna have to see that, right? Obviously, it's just two guys. You know, he mentioned in his statement that you need many areas of the team to improve, right? Two guys won't improve the roster too much, but I think they will help improve the offense a tad bit. And also, like he mentioned in his statement, he feels that the coaching staff is better equipped to work to field strength as a quarterback. And as a fan, I definitely can see some truth to that just by knowing how bad Matt Nagy actually was. I actually, before this podcast, turned on the Browns game again. And Matt Nagy did not have Justin Fields prepared for that game. And yes, Justin Fields definitely had some rookie mistakes in that game. But overall, it's the coach's job to ensure that they put their players in the best situations. And Matt Nagy failed to do that. Not only with Justin Fields, but even all the way back to Mitch Trubisky. Obviously, we can say Allen Robinson got a little bit sabotaged as well. So there's definitely some truth to that, that Luke Getze can come in with this new scheme that fits probably Fields' talent a little bit better. And we could see that massive jump just by the coaching alone. Obviously, we have to see it to believe it first. We can't just sit here and say, oh, yeah, he's definitely going to improve. This Luke Getze coming in is definitely going to help Justin Fields. We don't know that yet. But we can be cautiously, cautiously optimistic about what the coaching and the new scheme is going to do for Justin Fields and this Chicago Bears offense. So overall, even though the lack of moves can be frustrating, we have to give polls the time to fix the mistakes that Ryan Pace left, right? It's a huge mess. He had to unload massive contracts like Khalil Mack. You have to remember there was a a bunch of dead cap hit. So that affects the cap space a little bit. So overall, Ryan Pohl's mission is to fix Ryan Pace's mistakes, and that's going to take a little bit of time. And you also have to realize that more moves will come. Trust me, the more moves will come. Even though we have limited cap space, he's still going to make nice little moves here and there, especially to the offensive side of the football. And then we also have the NFL draft coming up. Yes, we have two second-round picks. We have a third-round pick, right? We have six total NFL draft picks to try to improve the Chicago Bears football team. I expect them, like I mentioned, I expect expect them to trade back, add more draft picks, to get as much as we can to help improve this Chicago Bears roster. But like always, just try to relax. I know it's frustrating. I get it. We have waited so long for a winner. But at this point, you have to give Ryan Poles time. Think about it. Ryan Pace got seven years. Seven years, but we're already complaining. Some of us are already complaining after a couple of months of the Ryan Poles era. Pump the brakes a little bit. Relax. If it doesn't work out, let's say in a couple years from now, we're just still a terrible football team and it's just not looking well. 
not looking good at all, you guys can attack me. You guys can come on this podcast and just attack me. But right now, I am choosing to be that cautiously optimistic Chicago Bears fan, because that's all we are as fans, and give him the time to fix Ryan Pace's mistakes. And I hope you guys will do that as well. But let me ask you guys this. How do you feel about Ryan Pohl's statement on his lack of aggressiveness? Answer that for me. And also, do you feel that the combination of the new coaching staff and the offensive moves made so far is enough to help Justin Fields, like Ryan Poles mentioned in that statement? Let me know down below in the comment section. I can't wait to hear you guys' answers. But before I let you guys go, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell notification to catch all Bears content right here on the podcast. Make sure you follow me on all my social media platforms. And make sure you share this episode of Kick on the Mic with every single Bears fan that you know. But other than that, I'll be back for an all-new Bears podcast right here on Kick on the Mic. Thanks, guys, and bear down. You ain't about it, you ain't about it, you ain't kick on the mic. You ain't about it, you ain't about it, you ain't kick on the mic. You can go and subscribe because I be on it right. You ain't about it, you ain't about it, you ain't kick on the mic.